In this video, I'm going to show you the best goal line offense in Madden 21. It comes to us from the Run Heavy Playbook, and this is an extension or continuation of my offensive viewbook out of Run Heavy, which primarily focuses in on bunch tight end. But this is my go-to offense for scoring inside the five-yard line in Madden 21. Let's dive right in. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, my channel focuses entirely on how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21 through tips and strategies just like this one. So uh, if you want to get better at the game, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you have any questions about what I'm doing in today's video, hit me up via text message. My number is in the top left-hand corner of your screen. Okay, guys, so strong tight. This is a formation in the Run Heavy Playbook, and you can do this out of I-Form Wing or Strong Tight. I prefer Strong Tight because there's a couple of other runs in there. But what you want to do is you want to put your best running back at the fullback position. So that's going to be Aaron Jones for the Packers. And then we're going to put uh, Weber, or I'm sorry, not Weber, Irving in the backfield. Tyler Irving, 91 speed. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put our best receiving tight end on the right side. That's going to be Robert Tunyon. And then we're going to put another tight end right here in this position, whether it be Daguerre or Lovett, any of these guys will work just fine. But basically what that boils down to is we're going to have a three running back uh, or a two running back, three tight end personnel grouping. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow us to audible to the goal line in certain situations. So we're going to put the um, fullback dive as an audible in there. We have the power O, the fullback dive, the HB sting, and the HB dive available to us from the goal line offense. Um, and then what you're going to also be able to do is you're going to be able to set your audibles out of strong tight. So you already have the stretch and the dive in there. So what I like to do is put the power row in there and I like to put the fullback dive in there. And then I normally will come out in, um, the blunt dive, um, or the FB angle if I really want to pass the ball. And so what you'll see is if people come out in the big nickel over G, which a lot of people will do this. A lot of people like big nickel, um, over G in the red zone that's your cue so essentially what you're going to do is you're going to see what they come out in if they come out in anything other than goal line you're audible into the fullback dive okay if they come out in anything other than goal line, you're audible into the fullback dive and basically all you're going to do is you're going to flip the play and you're going to playmaker it whichever way you want to run it if you want to run it to the left you can playmaker it left if you want to run it to the right you playmaker it right but the playmaker happens really really quick and the beauty of the of the flipping of the play because you have you can only flip it one time so you have to be make sure that it's right here. But let's say that someone's doing this, right? This is a popular concept out of out of Big Nickel. So I wouldn't want to run the ball to the to the to the um, right. I would want to run it to the left. So when I flip the play, playmaker the run to the left and snap the ball. And as you see, we're going to be able to walk right in for a touchdown. I I had a pretty much almost 100% conversion rate on two point conversions from the two yard line, pretty much from the two to three yard line and in. This is a very effective strategy. If you see Big Nickel. Another little thing that you could do is I also like to, to flip the HB dive and playmaker to the right. This helps a lot with the gap shooting. So you can do that as well by playmaking the HB dive from strong tight to the right. If you're concerned that Big Nickel is going to be able to stop your fullback dive, what I would do is I would audible to halfback dive. I would flip it and I would playmaker the run to the right. You're going to see that that, line, that fullback is going to come underneath the quarterback and he's going to take care of any gap shoots that might occur, as you can see right there. So those are two really powerful running plays. And then what I want to do is I want to talk to you a little bit about goal line and how, how you're going to be defended out of the goal line defense if someone does come out in that, which is a very popular thing to do. So a lot of people, when they get inside the five-yard line, they're going to come out in this play 60 out jacks. Almost universally, if they're a good Madden player, they will come out in this play. And essentially what they're going to do is this is how they're going to stop fullback dive. So if you audible to fullback dive, you'll see that they're going to basically take one of these guys and they're going to use him right over the middle. And essentially at the snap of the ball, they're going to shoot down. Now it's going to be a little bit tricky for me um, to show this, but you'll see here they come down and it just can be hard sometimes. Sometimes you can get stuffed and sometimes they can blow up fullback dive. Well, the beauty of the strong tight is you have stretch in your audibles. And so what I like to do is I like to audible to stretch, and I'm going to flip the play exactly the same way as I will from the HP dive. The reason why is because you can snap that tight end in motion, and basically you can just get a nice clean seal off the edge, and you're able to get in for two points or for um, a touchdown, depending on the situation. The beauty of this offense is it really does give you all of the major runs. Another little trick that I like to do is strong tight. I like to playmaker the run to the left, 
And then sometimes I'll motion um, this tight end to the right or to the left like this right here. And you'll see that, again, you get that nice little clear out block from the running back. He gets in front, so he takes care of any issues that could, uh, that could happen. Another little trick that people like to do is they like to spread their defense. This is where this HB blunt dive is really, really powerful because, again, you can do some motion tricking and things like that. Uh, but what you'll see here is, again, that fullback will come down and do a good job. Now, right there, that ended up stopping us. But that's, again, why I like to oftentimes when I run stretch out of this, because, again, you're going to see some. This is pretty much what you're going to see. You're going to see this little front right here. So when I audible to stretch and playmaker the run to the left side, I'm going to hit square, circle, so it's going to make him do a little movement. And then I'm going to motion this guy this way. And as you'll see here, he gets in front, so he takes care of any shoot, any gap shoot he will take care of, and you're able to get in with the stretch run. So that is how I score in the goal line. I mean, this is really my little scheme here. Uh, one other thing that I didn't hit on too much yet is this fullback dive. And I don't talk about this a ton, but this is a really good setup. It's almost, I turn this into a sweep. So I'm always going to run it to the left side. Now, I don't do that primarily against the goal line, but I do that a lot against like nickel 335 wide. Um, against goal line, I don't find this run to be super effective, but it does okay. Again, you see there I can kind of sweep it out to the left side. Um, so this is another run that you can use in your disposal. Obviously, you have Power O. Uh, the Power O is, is really good. The, the bottom line is I wouldn't run it against goal line, you know, but it is a good run against, you know, 3-3-5. Three, three, um, it's a very good run against 3-3-5. Three, three, the same thing with Power O. Um, as far as the flipping of the play, you're going to see you're going to get really clean um, interior blocking so that it can help. Um, it can help, and, and, and really, what you can do with this is again, you're going to be, you're going to take care of the gap shoots. So all you got to do is just get through there. Um, and again, with that motion, with that motion, that will help as well. Um, because again, when you're motioning this guy, you could, you could, you can still, you know, you got that blocker now for the outside. So now you're just bouncing. You're literally, it's just, it's just a sweep at that point. But that's why I like to do it out of stretch more than I like to do it out of power O. But anyways, um, one run that a lot of people have been using lately is Goal Line HB Sting. Uh, I think Goal Line HB Sting is super underrated. Basically, you flip it, you play maker at left, and we'll just show you how this works. You see, you get pretty good seals, and you can slip right in as an inside zone type of run. But anyways, guys, that's how I score in the goal line every single time. Pretty much 100% conversion rate with this. This thing works really, really well. So, anyways, all that to say, if you want to get my full run-heavy offensive ebook, that link is in the description. It's primarily focused out of the bunch tied in. Um, but we're going to be uh, potentially adding some other things into it after the Madden Classic is over. Um, some stuff that we've learned and things like that. But anyways, if you have any questions or if you want to get a free sample to that ebook, hit me up via text message. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you guys on stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time.